Hey guys, what's going on? David Lambro here. Hope you're having a good day today. Um, today, I have something kind of exciting to share with you and bring to you. I wanted to do this video. Uh, it's about five o'clock right now. I wanted to do, to do this video for you and this episode. Before it gets too late in the day, I got a lot of stuff that I'm working on right now. So I wanted to kind of, kind of go ahead and gather my thoughts and put this uh, out here for you today before the day gets away from me. So I wanted to document my journey a little bit here for you and, uh, and share with you what I'm doing, what I'm learning right now. So I am in a, uh, a five-day sprint uh, to, to learn more about how to, to automate an online recruiting, like an auto-recruiting funnel for my network marketing uh, company and opportunity, all right? So I know that there are a lot of you out there that are looking for that sort of thing right now. And let me ask you this question. Like, you're, you're out there, you're looking for a way to automate your system, uh, but you're still a little bit not sure about what this whole funnel deal is. So let me ask you this question. Are you somebody that you're looking to create automated systems, but you're still not exactly sure what this whole funnel thing is, all right? You're still kind of hazy on, you know, the, the differences between like, you know, what the heck is, the, is a funnel, uh, what is it not, and, and why do I need it, all right? So in this video, I'm going to share with you what a funnel is and what it is not. And this is some of the teaching that we went over today in, in day two of the, uh, the five-day Build Your Perfect Online uh, Sprint. All right. So let me first go over what a funnel is not, and then I'll go over what it is. Okay. So a funnel is not magic. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's definitely not some, some ethereal, you know, magical thing that as soon as you get it done, uh, then immediately flocks of, of people and herds of prospects will come into your, your online, your sales funnel, and then you know, you're magically going to have automation uh, set up for your business on day one. It's not magic, all right? There's an old saying. It's kind of a misnomer, really. From that awesome movie, though, <laughs> um, I forgot what their, what, what their names were as far as the actors, but the saying was, it was called Field of Dreams, okay? That was the movie. But uh, the saying was, if you build it, they will come. And yeah, maybe it worked for them in that movie, but as far as marketing goes and business goes, uh, that's a load of bull. <laughs> it's a load of hawk. Uh, I don't really know what to call it, but it's absolutely a big bag of flaming poo, and it's not true at all. Um, the idea that if you build a funnel, all of a sudden people will know about you and what you have to offer is just ludicrous, all right? That does not make any sense at all, okay? Um, if that were true, I'd be a millionaire by now because I've got some funnels out there, <laughs> but uh, still building my way there. Anyways, it's not magic. Something else, it's not luck. It's not chance. It's not art. It's not a lottery ticket. Uh, it's not a business, all right? That one is something that kind of surprised me. It's not a business itself. And here's probably kind of the last bombshell. It's not marketing. All right, let me repeat that. Funnels are different than marketing, okay? A uh, quick story about this. Um, so I'm learning from a guy named Steve Larson, and he uh, he actually went to go and be the number one, like he signed up to work as an employee with ClickFunnels, and he was sitting next to the man himself, uh, Russell Brunson, and he was a one of their lead funnel builders there at ClickFunnels. And so his job was to build the funnel itself. And he was actually, while he was working with ClickFunnels, he went home and then he would actually build, his, build out his own funnels for his own business and stuff. And then as soon as he hit go, you know, he was expecting a lot of, a lot of things to happen. He was expecting a lot of traffic to come in and for, um, for his sales to just go through the roof. And, you know, he was just excited about what was going on. But over the next couple of days and weeks, the opposite happened. Not much happened at all. And so he was kind of confused by this. And... All of a sudden, one day it hit him, he looked over his shoulder and he saw the difference between what he was doing versus what Russell Brunson was doing. Now, Russell Brunson is kind of the, the mouthpiece, the, um, the face of ClickFunnels, okay? Um, he was, what he was doing was the marketing side, okay? So there is a big, big difference between funnels and marketing. I like to describe funnels as a catcher's mitt. Okay, you're still going to need a megaphone uh, to send traffic to your catcher's mitt. All right, if the funnel is a, is a catcher's mitt, then you still have to find a way to send the baseball down the line to the catcher's mitt. The, and the baseball is the traffic. Okay, and so 
Here's what a funnel is. A funnel is simply a place where you can host your offer and your message, where you can automate your offer and your message, okay? Uh, pretty much, that's it, all right? Now, if you go and you do like door-to-door -door sales, you are the funnel. <laughs> and so that can cause a lot of slowdown for you and your business, okay? Because that means you have to do the presentation every time. You have to do the prospecting. You have to go find the traffic. Uh, you have to present the offer. You have to present the message. You have to overcome objections. And you have to close the sale. So all of that can be automated. That's, that's the part you have to start asking yourself. What can be automated? And what parts still need to be a personal touch? Okay? So other things that a funnel is, is it's a place where it has only one or two, sometimes two, but it's better to have just one um, uh, action, one step, one mode of action, and also just one exit. So one way to exit the page. So a lot of people, whenever they go to um, most uh, websites these days, up at the top, they'll have a menu with all of these different ways to exit the page, okay? And those types of websites are described as a as basically a brochure okay how many of you you pick up a brochure and there's just so many options you don't know what to do right <laughs> that's how that's how it is for a lot of us that's how, that's what brochures are meant to do they're meant to give you information but they're not the best way at walking you through a sales process and so that's what a funnel really is it's designed to walk you through Hold your hand through a sales process, a very specific sales process, to help you solve a problem that you're looking that that you have. Okay, and so that's that's basically what it is. Okay, now as far as as far as marketing goes, um, there are a couple of ways. Okay, my my podcast is all about you know helping you to create an automated system to to drive traffic to your business and or your network marketing company. Now, a network marketing company is a great way to start your own online business, and, and that's what I'm doing. Now, there are other, obviously, other business models out there um, that you can use your funnel for, okay? Now, if you would like to um, create that automation, that true time freedom that you're looking for, there are really two main things that you need to automate uh, for your business, okay? Now, those two things are the delivery of your product and it's the the method in which you go and get traffic okay if you're really looking for time freedom okay the method in which you 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 do your delivery your your offer your 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 sales message and then on the back side of that so after the sale is made the back side of that is the delivery okay that can either not be automated by like a a physical business okay which if you're, you know, that's something that you're doing, then more power to you. But if you're doing something where it's like information products or it's online training or it's, or it's courses, um, that a, a, a percentage of that can be automated, all right? Um, and so that can, that, that part can be, can be done and taken care of. Now the other side, traffic. You still have to get traffic. You still have to be the pitcher to throw the, the, the traffic at your, at your pit, at your uh, your catcher's mitt, okay. And so, with the introduction of the internet, we have a lot more easy ways to automate the traffic getting methods. Okay, back in the day, before the internet, they had to do things like mailers um, and newspaper ads and um, and yellow paper ads and TV ads and stuff like that. Now. You also, I mean, you could also go out there and you could do door-to-door -door flyers, okay? All of that stuff, getting attention to your, to your, uh, to your offer, okay? This is prospecting, all right? It's almost like door-to-door -door sales, okay? You're simply like the internet and marketing. Marketing is simply like the the act of attention getting, okay? That's what marketing is. Now. The internet has greatly increased the chances, or sorry, the ways in which we go about doing that. We can target our audience, our specific dream customer audience, uh, through through targeting, okay? And that's called direct sales or direct marketing, okay? Versus like TV ads, which is very general marketing. Now, if you have a lot of money, if you're a big business like Coca-Cola, general marketing is kind of the way to go. 
for them because at that point, it's just about keeping their brand at the front of your mind. But as far as um, everybody else, you're gonna buy your leads one way or the other, okay? You're, gonna, you're either gonna buy them with your time or you're gonna buy them with your money. Whichever one that you have more of, that's the one that you're gonna wanna do. So if you have more time, you can do things like prospecting, like sending people, you know, actually actively reaching out to people and, and you know, asking if they're, you know, open to taking a look at what you're doing, and then you send them to your funnel, okay? That will take care of the delivery, the offer, the message. Or you could pay for ads that will actually do the traffic getting process for you, okay? So whichever one that you have more of, that's what you do. Now, Steve Larson, he actually has found a really, really great way to continue um, getting free traffic and it's simply by being consistent at publishing and this is what I'm doing here this is a, a form of publishing right now um, you could put your publishing on YouTube you could put your publishing on um, on forums on Facebook on podcasts I'm doing a little bit of all of it and so I'm actually um, going to be doing some paid ads as well too okay now Steve he actually recommends he noticed that the, the, the best premium leads actually come to him through his free channels, okay? It's because they actually get a chance to, um, to really develop a relationship and a trust with him before they even enter into his world into his sales phones, okay? So pick a platform and, and start doing some publishing. Think about who is your target audience and what can you offer them, what can you do for them to, to attract them to you, okay? Uh, I don't want to make this video too long, but basically that's what a funnel is. That's what a funnel is not. It's not a business. It's not marketing. A funnel is a step-by-step -step process to, to automate your offer, your message, and deliver your content. Okay. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. If you would like uh, to see what I'm doing, you can go to fivesidehustles.com where you can download your free PDF uh, to help you learn the top five ways to make money from home. And you can start to make extra money online uh, and, uh, and really just start to kind of create some freedom in your life, okay? I want to give you options. That's my goal. I want to help new entrepreneurs to break out of the 9 to 5 grind, especially if you don't like where you're working, uh, by giving you some options uh, to make some extra money online, okay? So that's my message. That's what I want to help you with. And, uh, and if that appeals to you, then go check it out online. And uh, at fivesidehustles.com is that website. But other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. And uh, you have a great rest of your night. Bye-bye for now.